Hi, my name is Kyle Peabody, and today I'm going to show you how to properly install our float level gauge into two of our Gemini tanks. The first being our, our G40 squared, the second is our round uh, Gemini 20 gallon. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to locate your two inch connection where you want the float level gauge to be. Easy to see walking by whatever you need. So you're going to find your two inch location, unscrew the cap. And then you're also going to want to unscrew your lid so you can see if the float's going to hit the side of the tank. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to extend your level arm of your float gauge and you're going to put it right into your 2 inch connection. This is our uh, 34 inch Kynar float level gauge, specifically designed for our 40 gallon square Gemini. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put it in here, you're going to backtrack a little bit, find that that groove, once you hit it, you just screw it in. It's very easy if it's in the right spot. And you're gonna, you're, you want to look down so you position the arm so when it fills up and it, and it reads, you don't want it to hit your sidewall because if it hits your sidewall, it's going to give you an improper reading and that's not going to do anybody any good. So you're going to look down the man way and basically you want to aim that arm for the opposite corner. Maybe a little off so it's not in your way when you're filling chemical inside your tank. You don't want it to hit the, level, the flow gauge. So I, I aim just off this, this corner right here. I can see it. It works good. Again, it doesn't have to be tight all the way down. If you want it a little tighter, you can put some Teflon tape on it and it will tighten up the connection so it won't be loose. Okay. So this is properly installed. I'm doing a little test right here. Everything seems to be working fine. That is a properly installed float level gauge. Okay, so next we're going to move over to our 20 gallon round. Again, you want to find your 2 inch connection. And you want to unscrew your lid. Okay, this is our stainless steel edition of our float gauge, much like the Kynar plastic. This is stainless steel. So again, you're going to extend it, and you're going to put it straight down to your 2-inch connection, backtrack a little bit so you hear it snap, and then you just lightly hand tight screw it in. Okay? Again, it doesn't have to be too tight to where you can't do it by hand, but again, you want to aim it to the opposite side of the tank so it doesn't hit the wall. Because round tanks, you won't get that as often as the square tanks, but uh, you still want to make sure, looking down, into it and make sure it's not in your way when you're filling up through your lid but still has no obstruction when it's doing its thing, it's doing its level gauge thing. So I'm just going to check it. It's out of the way of the man way. Everything works properly. It's about hand tight. We're done. So that's all we have for today. If you have any questions you can call us at 951-734-7711. I'm sure the information will be on your screen. You have a good day.